Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from the face, from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass, this was his fear, that everyone that findeth me, hold on before we go to 15, everyone that finds me, no specific, I mean, look at this kind of tragedy in a man's life. Everyone that finds you, destroys you. And then something happened in verse 15. The first demonstration or the second demonstration outside of the Garden of Eden where we see a man being exempted. 15, read on please. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him. And the Lord set a mark upon a man he had cursed this was his request reduce my punishment oh god i know i'm already cursed you have made me by your pronouncement a fugitive and a vagabond and everyone that means there was another mark he said anyone that sees me will kill me and the bible says and the lord set a mark upon cain why less any finding him should kill him Does that mark still exist today where God can put upon a person less any sickness finding you will kill you less any catastrophe exemption is a reality you have to believe this in the economy of God the aspect and the dimension of kingdom reality you believe is what will become your experience it is important to listen to men of God listen to pastors it is important to be loyal to people but you are only loyal to them provided they are loyal to the word if a man is not loyal to the word i will not listen to him because he will peg me around his limitation and present his limitation to be the full portrait of all that there is in god so believing him in innocence i will still be bankrupt of certain dimensions of spiritual reality Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Meaning if you find at any point that I'm not interested in developing myself in the knowledge of God, you are authorized to divorce yourself from your loyalty to me. And he set a mark upon him. Exodus chapter 8, 22 and 23. Let's give the second scripture tonight and then we'll begin to build. Exodus I like us to read it we're reading 22 and 23 together one to read and i will severe in that day read on the land of goshen in which my people dwell listen and that no swarms of flies shall be there to the end that thou mayest know that i am the lord in the midst of the earth last verse and i will between my people and thy people and he says tomorrow shall this sign be exemption is a sign 
a signboard leads somewhere when i get to a place and i see someone's hair and a clipper upon it it is a signboard saying there is a barbing saloon close that means when god exempts you it's a sign that the hand of god is within the vicinity at work in the life of a man he says tomorrow shall this sign what sign a division swarm of flies will come and devour people and their crops and their savings and everything but i will put a division say lord exempt me shout it with faith lord exempt me exemption is real it is a reality in the system of god there are men there are ministries there are organizations that are working in the reality of that truth and the goal of this teaching is to help us you cannot boastfully speak of triumph in a year when you are watching things kill people i think it was kenny who was over at my place briefly just for a word and then um he met me having a conversation with ejimi we're discussing something very serious and then he said i think a woman i don't know maybe the woman is here a dear woman of god who lost two children concurrently i think within this vicinity lost a child they went to bury the child before they came back or i think immediately they came back another one died don't ever tell me that's a natural death no sir i know god enough to know witchcraft when i see it are we together and i will put a division a division God, please pay attention to what i'm teaching you i have taught again and let me say this the realities of the kingdom are available in christ but they are accessible through understanding backed up by obedience that's what the bible calls faith faith is not quoting scripture faith is the journey of faith starts with your understanding and accurate comprehension not just of what god has said the end of understanding is you know your role in the equation if you don't know the part you have to play you have not understood it there are so many people listen carefully there are so many people who want the things god has said but they do not they even have the zeal to obey but they are they are in confusion as to what their roles the role that you have to play obedience is key if you are to experience anything in the kingdom deuteronomy 28 verse 1 says it shall come to pass in that day if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord it says to do and observe all that i command thee to do and observe not discuss and wish not desire and intend to do and observe all that i commanded this day that this blessing shall come upon you overtake you right and all of that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you so many believers are living in an illusion that because god is so mighty he will not allow them die like that after all jesus gave his only son let me tell you something this thing called the will of man is an implication on us the will of man stops god from assuming man needs his help your obedience is proof of your dependency in, on god it is costly to sit down and assume that after all god knows i need his help god knows i'm tired of poverty god knows i don't want death god knows the background i come from god knows the witchcraft in my family you have to engage the world through understanding and complete obedience complete obedience say amen the next time you pick your bible don't just search for what god has said search for what he told you to do to see what he has said this is how believers become mature let me tell you something brothers and sisters many of the continual woes in people's lives is not because the outstretched arm of the lord cannot show up it is because they are waiting and hoping that because jesus died upon the cross one day 
he will change my finances one day he will take away evil from my life that day may never come it says there remaineth a rest hebrews 3 4 for the people of god there remaineth a rest it says if you hear his voice harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness and died the day you hear his voice is potentially the day of your breakthrough the meter of your success starts reading from the day you obey not from the day you hear you can hear god when you were 10 years and obey him when you are 40. the meter reads that you have obeyed god for one year obedience is what counts are we together not just blind obedience obedience based on understanding because you can obey nonsense you can obey what pastor said you can obey what apostle said but only hope that what apostle said is really what god said come i can give an instruction and god says let's go right that's how we're going to get the result are we together now and then you move left you see that with that kind of instruction listen two things will happen number one you stand a chance of being destroyed because although you are obeying my word is not consistent with the word of god now let me tell you something i've learned about god i've shared it here the mercy of god which is the last dimension of this series we are going to consider are we together now is such that because you obeyed me totally believing that i came from god god will remove that breakthrough and relocate it to your direction of obedience it should not have happened but because you will have to honor your faith because you received me as touching christ then god will deal with me now for misleading you so that one is between me and god but you are not going to be punished for obeying me as passive this is why you will see a man of god teach nonsense people will obey and still get breakthrough it's not because what the man is teaching is right it's because the testimony of god is upon their obedience and so god will prove himself then the man of god erroneously will justify that because it worked it meant it was correct no as you walk with god a day will come when god will say if you do it again i will deal with you i've been keeping quiet and you have been manipulating money from people the other time you lied that i sent you to a jimmy to collect hundred thousand he gave you and he got a car and you claimed it was a sign that you are you are apostle joshua selma if you tell anybody to give you money again i will personally reveal myself to you in the night vision <laughs> say obedience mary said whatever he tells you to do do it can we pray just for a minute and say lord the spirit of disobedience you know there's such a spirit pray get it out of my life oh god I'm tired of the way it has been cheating me and shortchanging my destiny. Cast it oh, Be very serious about it. There are many of us, the moment God tells you to do something, there is a spirit that refuses you from obeying. Tithe! And the spirit said, don't worry. They are just trying to destroy your money. You are sick and God says, take the communion. It's all this nonsense. I don't want to look like a child. Cast it. It's a spirit of disobedience. No, yes. We will obey. Yes to your will. Yes to your ways. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you very much. Let's do a quick revision. Um, in the last discussion that we had together, we agreed that the first key, the first principle prescribed by God for any individual, any group of people to experience exemption is what we call the God first principle everyone say it after me yeah the god first principle according to 
Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 the Bible says to seek first his kingdom and I told us that when God becomes secondary in our lives we have signed in for disaster God must become first and all not first alone first and all first and all are we together anytime God becomes first alone that's not enough he must be first and all that's what gives meaning to every other thing that comes in your life and then the second thing we talked about is the mystery of kingdom service and we stop there am I right the mystery of kingdom service and I told us there are three dimensions to kingdom service we took on number one and we said soul winning and establishment please make sure you don't forget we agreed that soul winning talks of helping men find Jesus and leading men to embrace the Lordship of Jesus over their lives and we examined a few scripture I don't want us to go there I'll just quote them quickly Daniel chapter 12 verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall be like the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the heavens even forevermore and um, the Bible also said in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 18 to 20 that God has given us the ministry and the word of reconciliation both the ministry and the word of reconciliation and we looked at Proverbs 11 verse 30 the Bible says he that winneth souls is wise and remember what um, David said about wisdom he said with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness he says by me kings reign and princes decree justice so part of the benefits of soul winning is that you have access to the wisdom of God that will produce results in your life so we'll take it off from there the second dimension of kingdom service that we must engage for supernatural exemption is service in the house of God write it down kingdom service service in the house of God Exodus please Exodus 23 and then we'll look at 25 to 26 please make sure you write it down and you follow carefully service in the house of God very few believers have been taught that service in the house of God is a system created by God for men to experience supernatural exemption Exodus chapter 23 25 and 26 okay let's read it one two go and ye shall serve the Lord your God uh-huh four things he will do four things I want us to understand what is your own part of the deal you shall and then when you do serve him he shall bless your bread and your water that's number one number two he shall take away sickness from the midst of thee number three verse 26 there shall nothing cast her young or be barren so we see the blessing of fruitfulness and finally the number of thy days i will fulfill all this and more just for serving in the house of god now listen carefully most believers think service in the house of god is a way to help the man of god and help his vision or help the church grow it is a very dangerous understanding part of the kingdom responsibility of any and every believer is to contribute actively to the advancement of his kingdom and that involves making sure that every structure and platform he has put together finds an atmosphere and an environment where people can be saved built equipped and empowered to represent his purposes and that includes service service in the house of God as prescribed by God in fact when the Lord was sending Moses to Pharaoh this is what he said go and tell Pharaoh let my people go that they may go and serve me serve me there are many people who have gotten more results than even their personal spiritual lives 
because they have subscribed to the foolishness of kingdom service are we together now many people do not know that service in the house of God brings blessings many people pity the man of God and say there's nobody holding camera Kai, let me not waste my Nigerian TV college certificate let me just come and help them the moment you have an idea that you are helping a man of God or helping a ministry you have destroyed your potential for blessing through service are we together now every worker in the house of God is an employee by God you have to understand this every genuine worker in the house of God is an employee by God what a privilege to be in the labor force of God you work for people you don't trust their integrity you don't trust them there is no guarantee of their reward and here comes the king of the ages recruiting men and women to make sure that his house is served properly do you believe who lied to you that you will serve the king of kings look there are men who serve god for a living i'm not talking of pastors they serve their way into unimaginable breakthroughs as good as soul winning is do you know it's a terrible thing and this has been the foundation of our teaching even in this ministry that you are born again and not actively useful your energy your wisdom your creativity is not contributing i cannot sit down in a place and be comfortable that the grace the gift the creativity the the energy that god has given me is not participating in the building of the lord's house that when souls are saved you cannot say my energy contributed my wisdom contributed to making this happen i was part of those who set the sound for those outside to hear the word of the lord and be saved i'm part of those who clean the altar to make it conducive i'm part of those moving around when someone fell under the anointing as that demon was flying out of his life i held him if your energy cannot be accounted for as being used to serve God you qualify for disaster it's not a threat it's the truth Job 36 verse 11 read with me people of God Job 36 verse 11 Job 36 please give it to us Job 36 verse 11 one to read if they obey and serve him uh -huh, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure what's the condition if they obey and so if bill gates money if bill gates energy if bill gates institute is contributing if zuckerberg's facebook is contributing to advancing the kingdom he qualifies to profit more than a tongue-talking christian whose energy are we together now if they obey and serve him the moment your energy you remember the bible says love the lord with all your heart uh-huh with all your might all your strength everything about you must contribute in that process you can't say i love god that no 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 the worship songs that lift the spirit of men did they come from your secret place or are you just a recipient you came to the house of god and saw chairs cleaned and you argued and fought with people and sat down and god is watching when i was falling down why didn't you catch me you just allowed me to fall down like that and god is watching listen you can serve your way out of any cause and any yoke i've said it years years and i will repeat it again i i don't want to use the word fear like dread but i have a great respect for people who serve me in christ and serve god because i know they are walking their way to an enviable dimension service 
Malachi chapter 3, 17 and 18. I'll serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you. My best, Lord, is everything I have. My best, Lord, I give all I have to you. You made me great. You made me special. These guys don't know the song. You made me great. I give all I have to you. Yeah, you made me great. You made me special. You made me great. I give all I have to you. My best Lord is everything. I have my best Lord I give all I have to you my best Lord is everything I have my best Lord I give all I have to you listen this used to be our national anthem those times when we we're preparing for crusade we would sing it and dance as we walked ourselves out like fools it was a song I wrote as a love song to God. A, a declaration of my surrender. How could I give him less? You know when you go to buy clothes, they will tell you there's this type. But if you really have money, let's climb up. There is a section. I don't have that kind of thing with God. Everything he finds is all of me. Hmm. Service. Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18. Let's read it. One to read and they shall be mine uh-huh in that day when i shall make up my jewels i will spare them read on as a man spared his son not that loves him that serves him next verse then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked uh-huh between him that serveth god and him that served him there is a difference so sister don't let anybody fool you and say keep serving all these stupid people that's how everybody will marry and leave you just hold on god will give you a man that is equivalent to your salary of 30 years while the rest are there using whatsapp to connect and arranging you are serving do you know sometimes people can mock you as you serve god they'll say you are serving god so that you get husband is that not a good reason is that not a good reason is it not better to serve god and be sure of what he gives oh come on now many workers in the house of god are turned to be fools because they spend their time they spend their energy and when people who don't understand spiritual things look at them they say but Abba, Sam, you are underutilizing your potential that's what they say simply because in many circles maybe the people are not staff of the ministry and may not be receiving anything like a salary and so men you see newspapers insulting men of God and say the labor force they should have employed they now get people in many churches while they are building you will see wealthy people come and they are trying to put it and they insult the men let me tell you certain things about your service that makes it fruitful number one your service must be willing if you serve god out of compulsion you will never receive a reward from me please understand this this is why as a ministry we never coerce people 
you don't manipulate people using courses and say if you don't say no 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 that's that's manipulation if there be first a willing mind willing mind service it must be willing number two it must be with joy it must be with joy you don't serve God with joy forget about your reward believe what I'm telling you grumbling all around say oh, today is Tuesday again we are just going to pray only God knows where apostle is we are just suffering to pray for him and he's enjoying let me tell you you speak like that God will punish you and the covenant I have with him will punish you two things against you very bad statement and when you stand blah, 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 and there you see people pray all their heart and say why are they doing this did they charm them that's the same way when they are enjoying the blessings and you talk God will say keep quiet thank God you saw them when they were praying like fools brothers and sisters I show you the 21st century investment serving God serving God banks will not teach you this oh serving God wholeheartedly with all your heart you are giving God everything you are sweeping the house of God and you know sometimes I watch these people when the power of God begins to move and sometimes people are around under the anointing coughing all kinds of things and you see all those ushers coming and I'm saying my God look at this sometimes they are there scrubbing the toilets cleaning the toilet people with dignity and respite and their reputation they throw it on the ground just because of the house of God if you were God will you leave them like that please answer me if you have been evil no I think I'm compassionate enough to see someone who is serving sincerely and not let him go hungry let me tell you something if you know you are serving God especially in this ministry wholeheartedly you have a right to claim a reward I teach the leaders you can go before God and say Lord I am in your payroll no witch no devil no darkness I'm serving Lord I swept your house with sincerity Lord I was cooking the food this is the evidence of the firewood this is it this pain is a sky is a testament Lord when I was given an assignment to lead prayer I did it with all my heart unto you when I was serving as a head of department it's not eye service with joy the Bible says shall you draw there are many angry preachers when they come on stage you know they are angry as though the members are not blessing me I'm here blessing you and you're not please pastors don't harass any member they didn't call you go and meet the person who called you don't harass any member with money and all of that Do you know let me tell you something let me digress and talk about this money thing if you manipulate people to bless you number one that money will never be useful to you and you rob them of their blessing the secret of being blessed from people raise them raise men not money raise men empower people pour your heart and teach them everything and they will surprise you some of you will build me houses in the future no 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 you will you will it's not whether you like me or not you will be too blessed to forget about me it's a programming something is happening to you I know you think I'm just motivating you and then tomorrow someone will be angry and say what is it about this guy you know let me tell you let me teach you a secret of greatness find people who are weak and start investing in them grow with them you can change their future but you can't change history your name is already imprinted in their starting up days not that you see somebody who you did invest in just because he has a car you say is my son are you stupid what did you contribute in his life that's why nobody calls a blind person his son nobody calls a deaf person my daughter because they are looking for privileges but there is a way you will bless somebody and pour your heart and they say lord bless me let me find something to do to this person true wealth is men the result of their impact 
and their gratitude to you for changing their lives all this run around one two you have not said anything you are saying sam i've been seeing you changing clothes and i've not eaten of your your reward that's 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 a that's a lot of foolishness no god is my witness and i say it in the open then i don't have any special person that i corner and say please you are a, a, an elite a group of people you are the ones who will be servicing me that's why i walked the word for myself you see why it's good to be blessed so that you can preach and not depend on anybody who tells you preach on on enemies then they change your message simply because they, they are buying generator you carry your generator and go away with it never mix money and ministry you will be doing a very foolish thing and not every seed is collectible some seeds are your birthright please don't be foolish pastors i don't know why i'm speaking to you now not every seed is collectible some seeds are you are collecting your dignity you are you are you are trading away your dignity and your destiny you must discern not everything is worthy of receiving Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field let's continue service in the house of God it must be joyful God is my witness I know God be my witness in the midst of your people I have never I have never since god began to walk with me way before koinonia and this i have never for once turned and complain and say god guy this ministry friday again or this day again no. those who are close to me know that my work schedule will take the grace of god otherwise you fall down and die one day and i do it joyfully tomorrow we're in gombe preaching again and casting every devil out and we're happy I do these things not because any man is paying me i do it first because i love him but i know that it is a mystery do you know let me tell you something do you know what people call job is simply the rat race of trying to make ends meet when god really blesses you you find out that there's not much to do in life truly truly there is not much to do in life i think it was during the leaders training i was teaching them this when you are really blessed if your salary is hundred thousand let's even be fair two hundred thousand per month in one year that's 2.4 million in 10 years that's 24 million right all things being equal in 20 years that's 48 million so you are working and that's what you plan to get if god gives you 60 million now you will get up in the morning when people are working you just be scrolling and say what exactly do i do today so you see that listen this occupancy we claim to be busy is simply we are trying to look for money to build so you have a 10-year project to build a house and you get it one by one but you can serve your way to a god who does not pay a fixed price he pays according to his riches not according your boss pays listen listen don't think i'm flattering you when you are in god's payroll laugh love for be happy service there are many people who have cheated themselves to serve your way into that child i've been burying for five years and you sit down and all you do is just come and sit down and be pulling your mouth and say kai why is the house of god hot today and the devil says continue this is the kind of people we like there is a way you can sweep any nonsense out of your life as you sweep the house of God and people are looking at you and saying ah, ah, all these guys apostle is standing they are standing how about even the ladies are standing do you know even during night vigils they stand what kind of punishment is this they say look at how church has torn your head and God here you know God hears people yeah lord i do it as unto you i'm tired but i carry the chairs yes i'm tired
tired but i carry the chains i was i sometimes i look at the ushers and they are so trained in my opinion i think our ushers are one of the best trained ushers in terms of sensitivity truly speaking and response to the spirit i have traveled to many places great churches big churches and it's surprising when the power of God begins to break out. Because most times the power of God breaks out at special events. So the people know. In Koinonia, anything can happen. I can be talking now and somebody is flying up. Before you know it, there's an usher there. They have the sensitivity. It's a training. All that training just for an usher, that's the training of a pastor. When you finish that training, should you be an usher? To be that sensitive to hold people? But he's watching brothers and sisters hear me i remember and i always share this there is none of us today that just got up and started ministry every one man of god that i know especially those who came out of zaria you can trace their history to times of dogged kingdom service i jokingly used to tell people i think 1994 95 there about i used to play keyboard for a man called reverend emmanuel amechi ani power praise chapel they started it we would have our local assembly and i would trek with my own keyboard i would carry it and go there and i'm just playing little did i know that one day that little shepherd will also become king because that's how he watches you are behind the throne you better leave it and stay and focus on 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 making sure the sheep of god is healthy many of you just eye every throne you see that's why you keep fantasizing the secret to the throne is in your servicing the sheep i remember i would play keyboard for them afterwards they would just come and hug me bless you and on my way home trekking I always say this only two things i received only two things from that ministry wonderful people don't have any i don't even know where they are today during the launching of the man's cassette no cds then they gave me one bottle of fanta and one free cassette that's all i got for laborious service i carry my keyboard by myself i walk like a madman and i get one bottle of fanta and and uh, and cassette he was into prison's ministry but god was watching you see that many of you just see before you start admiring people find out their track record they have a track record of service genuine service koinonia is where when people come they throw away their golden crown nobody comes to do any big man you are either serving God or you sit down there. Don't come and say, I am a... You don't come here outside and say, please prepare a special seat. And if you are special, we know. Once they don't know, you find somewhere and sit down. You don't come and say, look, I'm here together with my peer. No, no, we don't do that. Kingdom service. You want to experience triumph? You must be willing to serve God and serve in the house of God. Your energy your time your zeal your gift joyfully not complaining and say i don't like my head of department tells everybody thank you accept me he didn't employ you no he should say so but if he doesn't turn to god and say lord you are the one i'm serving i serve you with all my heart lord you see every time i pray here lord you see every time during the rehearsals I spend hours and hours do you know let me tell you something and I want to submit to you I consider myself to be one of the most privileged man of God of my age range and my level I truly believe so God has given one of the best sets of workers in Koinonia I've told them too many times I think you should clap you really should clap hallelujah It is difficult to find a ministry where men are very anointed gifted and yet very loyal and sincere and true you don't find it you never find arguments going on in, 
uh, during the leaders meeting uh, no 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 total submission total loyalty to god there are departments i don't visit for months and they never bend to the standards they are giving the leaders serve with sincerity and truth it's one of the secrets to my ministerial efficiency because most of the time is spent in prayer and the word and general oversight not going around to monitor because you suspect that this are no 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 faithful people are we together and among other reasons is because we sowed that seed of faithfulness so we are not surprised do you serve god joyfully and have you been indoctrinated and laughed at sisters i speak to you particularly because there is this madness that flies around the moment they see a young lady serving in the house of god people just look at her those who say ah she's just serving because of husband others are saying she's just serving because uh, all these ladies just wasting away jerry look at a fine girl like this will now come and make herself an idiot in church who told you the house of god is a place where destinies are wasted who preached that to you where did you get that indoctrination that the house of god dries up the potentials of people Let me tell you the future some of you what you are doing now is already the price for the future when you see men running around god will say i forbid you you have served too much to serve men i'm, I'm speaking to you from my heart tonight how can i bow down before you and then bow down before a man no way no way hey how can i kneel down before you and then kneel down before a man no way you must serve somebody in life either god or your shrine where you are coming out from that you are supposed to be the next priest you left carelessly at the altar is still crying for a servant you better secure yourself serving god there are many people who do not know that service is a mystery of exemption you can't be idle on uh, idle on earth a master will occupy you you don't serve God, you serve sickness. You don't serve God, you serve pain. You don't serve God, you serve a bad and wicked and foolish and stupid man. You don't serve God, you serve another demonic roaming around your family. Let me tell you, any arrow sent from anywhere will come and meet me serving. It will bounce back a thousand times. Because there is a system. There is an insurance system in God. For those who serve him he says he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm he said i shall not die but live and declare as i'm serving i immune myself from death i think i was discussing with a few people um a few days ago look at me let me say something dominion dominion is not running away from things because of fear of satan is prevailing over them and triumphing over them are you getting what i'm saying let me give you an instance i think a discussion came up and then um, someone was asking a question and then i tried to clarify it if i'm supposed to go and preach now and you have a vision or a dream a true vision that my car is having an accident i will still go you see i will not allow that vision stop me from preaching my limitation is only the voice of god not the fear of death dominion is to change it and go anyway that's dominion if you allow fear destroy you you will not do many things are we together yeah 
there are too many people being governed by fear they claim to be walking in dominion they have the money for flights they will never fly because every time they're about to fly they see something in the night let me tell you something brothers and sisters you are not glorifying God if you live an escapism life you are always escaping i just saw sam that there will be an accident and then sam says i'm not going again let's just be careful one day that ah, ah. you've not seen people sit quietly in their houses and a truck came and killed them the name of the lord rather is a strong tower the righteous enter so as i'm driving i'm in the name the boss collides with the name before it collides with me this is my understanding and you know i travel a lot we're about traveling tomorrow now i'm saying these demons are hearing me the spirit of death is hearing me they are probably going to stand in the road to kill me tomorrow and i'll be back on friday now you imagine that kind of frustration <laughs> apostle don't speak like this oh apostle we love you don't don't trouble them and they don't trouble i trouble them big time that's where i'm alive don't trouble them <laughs> you don't fear two people if you fear god that's enough how can i bow down before you and then bow down before me no way How can I sing a song before you, and then sing a song before men? No way. No way. Because you are my God. He's not our God, He's my God. You are my God. It's a revelation of Him that I have. It's a covenant with Him that I have. Listen, a fish never fears plane crash because it has no business with the air. Are we together? So when the Bible says, I am far above, I have no business with certain realities. They only affect you when you dwell in that realm. I don't know how to make you believe this thing. Listen, I speak not only because God said it. I speak because I found what I have to do to make it work. When you make boastful statements like this without knowing your part, you will die like a chicken. The very next day, the cow will so butcher you leg and head together and scatter you. I've seen the spirit of death. I I've told you. Yes. I wish I were an artist. I would have drawn it for you. You see, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. These spirits know men. They know those who know them. It's like somebody who is from your neighborhood and goes somewhere where they don't know him and says, my father is the CEO of Guarantee Trust Bank. And all of a sudden, you just come and say, ah, how oh, now? Let's go home. And say you are falling my hand that's how spirits work when they enter a place they search for who knows them when they don't find they start roaring but when others step in they say oh you give us where we have kingdom business to do kingdom business to do having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete see let me tell you if i were faking this thing you would have known now i have laid hands on too many people with cancer to not have received it myself I've laid hands on too many people with communicable diseases not to receive it myself. I have done this ministry work for a while. Medical science gives us a time range when exposing yourself to certain things will destroy you. This thing is in your presence. I do all of that. No. It's called Zoe. The life of God. There is a record that we have it. Wow rising gradually to walking in the fullness of it but it's no excuse for darkness when we see them we stamp them say amen. amen but are you serving your way because not everybody qualifies to enjoy this thing we are talking about there are people who your service 
your service cannot rise as a memorial unto God. Isaiah 18. Let's walk this and go to the next one quickly. We have to pray. Isaiah 38. Sorry. Isaiah 38. Media help us. Isaiah 38. Let's look at a very interesting story here about a death sentence over a man by a true prophet. Isaiah chapter 38. Are we there? Let me read it. When I get to a place where all of us will join, I would let us know. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Sick unto what? New Living Translation. Don't turn there, but our new... Don't, don't give us New Living Translation. Modern day translation is an incurable disease. An incurable disease is a disease unto death. It says, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him saying, listen, thus saith who? Not a demon, the Lord. Set thine house in order for thou shalt and not live. Isaiah was not a false prophet. He spoke from the mouth of the Lord. Let's see something that Hezekiah did. Verse 2. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Let's see the content of the prayer. Verse 3. And he said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart. And I have done that which is good in thy sight. When you read about Hezekiah, you find out that he served God with his life. His resources were coming to that. And Hezekiah wept so. Lord, is this how you reward your servants? Will I serve you and now die? That men will say, I served you and you killed me. Verse 4. Then came the word of the Lord again to Isaiah saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add, unto thy days 15 years verse 6 i will deliver thee and this city out of the king of assyria and i will defend this city he reminded god do you have the petitions that you take before god and say lord look at the devil destroying my family i'm a faithful servant in your house lord last week 100 people got born again and oh God, I was part of those who led them outside. Remember. And God arises and says, No, you are putting pressure on my integrity. I must arise and act for you. Hallelujah. It must be willing, it must be joyful. And you must serve God with diligence. Diligence. You don't serve God with laziness and slackness. You don't serve God with slothfulness. You serve him willingly. You serve him joyfully. You serve him diligently. Let's go to the next one. The next dimension of kingdom service so there's soul winning and establishment there is service in the house of god and then number three kingdom investments serving god with your resources kingdom investments one of the strangest mysteries of exemption kingdom investment it literally is an investment serving God with your resources serving God with your resources Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 popular scripture we all know it it says cry yet saying thus saith the Lord Zechariah not Zephaniah cry yet saying thus saith the Lord my cities he says through prosperity shall be spread abroad 
and I will yet comfort Zion. Cry yet say, thus saith the Lord, my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and shall choose Jerusalem. My cities shall through prosperity listen i want you to know that financial resources and other kinds of human resources play a major role in kingdom advancement don't mind those who tell you money is not important in kingdom advancement no that's not true that's a wrong theology we have money mongers and we have those who are frustrated with the issue of money both of them are wrong money is important just like the anointing financial resources are important for kingdom activities and god's system is such that listen men wholeheartedly commit their lives their resources and everything to the building of the kingdom by faith in obedience and total trust and they in turn schedule seasons of untold breakthroughs and blessings is how the system of God works my cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad so whoever contributes with his resources to making the house of the Lord built to making sure that the activities of kingdom advancement keep on going that person qualifies for certain blessings please give us Psalm 112 verse 9 NIV if we can get it Psalm 112 verse 9 I love the rendition uh, that the NIV puts. If we can have that, Psalm 112, verse 9. This is the reason why many people, Psalm, did I say 112? 122, I beg your pardon. 122, Psalm 122, verse 9. I like us to read. One, two, read for the sake of the house of the lord our god i will seek your i seek it not just to buy jeeps and cars houses vacations that's too small a reason to subject yourself through the stringent laws of wealth but it is for the sake of your house i will seek your prosperity i'm trusting god to bless me with resources oh god so that i will contribute in getting your activities done listen please the message of prosperity is not a demonic message there is such a message called the message of prosperity and it is not a demonic message it may have been taught selfishly it may have been taught inaccurately but that does not stop the fact that there is such a message and it is part and parcel of the truths of the gospel that believers must learn and know is God's economic system where people empower the advancement of his kingdom and receive rewards listen listen kingdom investment has nothing to do with just tight kingdom investment is not tithing kingdom investment is not worship offering kingdom investment is a sacrifice a commitment between you and God to commit your resources on a continuous basis to seeing that his house is built to seeing that his kingdom is advanced the gospel is preached lives are saved this is a commitment it is not a special thing that you gather believers and say okay right now all of you bring one one thousand naira it is the inaccurate understanding of the things of God that sometimes will have to necessitate those special events. Listen, part of the financial system of my life, every major money that comes to me, I know that investing in the kingdom is part and parcel of my spiritual growth process. No special event. If X amount comes to me, my tight God's portion is going. I will never come to the house of God empty-handed. I come with my worship offering joyfully. There is a portion for my parents to bless their life. There is a portion to bless people and improve on their lives. But then there is a huge 
and I mean huge truly for the advancement of the kingdom I have a list of men of God I have a list of ministries that I sow into their life perpetually continually some per week some per month continually except resources don't come not big some of them don't even know me kingdom investment with all humility and i say this just to let some of us know not just to brag or make noise there are many programs that have happened in this city many programs that have happened around this nation and parts of the world that i just keep quiet i just carry a seed as god directs and i say you go and sow go and give that man of god sometimes i say just tell him no problem there's no need announcing it sometimes i say don't even tell them just go and sow this seed and i'm happy to see that my seed is saving souls i'm happy to see that someone's life posters are printed through my seed i'm happy this water now is probably someone's seed you see that this pulpit right now is someone's seed a commitment to contributing resource wise to see in the kingdom you don't have to wait i keep challenging believers listen i wish i'm not the one teaching you this but i love you too much i have a scriptural obligation to teach you the truth and that i will do regardless of how you feel i'll teach you the truth don't think this is some system to coerce money no 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 no. i fear god too much to do that but i have to tell you the truth because it's what i'm also doing a true kingdom investor finds a need in the house of god he's not told about the need you find it the same way you find a need in a rich man's life out of psychophancy to get project i say honorable I've seen that you've been wearing only two shoes and he says you won't believe that I have only three. He said I brought five. You see that? You brought five because you are hoping that you will buy relationship and it will work for you. Hallelujah. Find a need in the house of God. Look, three of us, let's come together. Koinonia needs more cameras. How much is it? X amount let's come together let's do an inventory consult with these people the house of god oh i think that i have two thousand naira and my two thousand naira can buy three chairs in the house of god you come on friday dancing with three chairs three breakthroughs in your life as you drop it a sinner sits on that chair and the fire from heaven falls on him as he's getting born again let me tell you god is issuing a warning he sat on that chair to be blessed find a need don't wait until you are told you find a need ah, i look at this what can i do find a need but many believers don't they just sit down you need to see how believe offering time is, is one of the most irritating time in many churches offering time and somebody just brings out something and tells his wife or whoever do you have she says, no, it just, it take. they bring out one thousand they put it back they bring out 500 they put it back they bring out 200 naira the new one they put it back then they carry the old one say, oh, shall come and drop it and god is watching as soon as they finish they move straight to chicken republic and burn 5000 take ice cream for starters take all of this and call friends sometimes who are not godly let's come and enjoy and god sees your passion and then you lift your voice i love you lord god is saying you're a liar that's that's not true you don't love me god so loved the world that he gave is that same attitude that follows men in marriage is that same attitude that follows in everything when you love without giving you a liar and a hypocrite true love comes with giving passionate sincere giving let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ears when I lift up my seed before God, as I sow those seeds, I am happy. It is my joy 
that I want to live my life in such a way that every month I'll be buying a bus for a church somewhere. What a joy to get to a church and see and say, what is your budget? And they say, we need a new cathedral. How much? 20 million. And you say, okay, let me just have a private discussion with the pastor. And say, pastor, just give me the plan. Send your engineers to supervise. In three months, that church is lifted. Quietly. Noiseless contribution. You think God will allow men to will? If you have a helper like that, will you allow men to kill him? If your job is to pray for that person and the devil and God wakes you and says the devil wants to take his life, oh no, come on, you will get an energy you never knew you had. You will pray and say, God, it's better to take one of my legs than to kill that man. But, Apostle, I don't have much. You will never have much. You give your way to that much. You give your way to that much. You can sit down and say, Look. What can I do for the worship team? We have just 100,000. Sam, this is for the dressing of the worship team. So they look good. This is to buy time for the media department. You don't have to come and say, make sure Apostle knows I'm the one. You have, you have killed and scattered and destroyed your potential. We live in a very political uh, Christianity where people like announcement and accolade. We are now announcing that Chief A and B is the one who gave that golf outside. You have destroyed everything. He says, as you give, let your right hand not know what you I'm not saying there's no place of honor. Don't get me wrong. What can I do for you, my Lord? I want you to know my heart. not a question of what you can do for me, but what can I do for you, my Lord? That's love. That's genuine love. By the grace of God, let me tell you, and I say it with all humility, I don't want you to do it for me. There are people here, people here, I know they have committed themselves with resources to say Joshua Selman it should never it should never happen that you are looking for water and my seed does not come see let me tell you I say it with all humility I'm a blessed man I'm not talking about your money at all I don't serve God because of money not at this level God has been faithful are you getting what I'm saying now so don't think it's some coercion so that somebody will just bring an envelope no no but I'm telling you, you don't practice this, you will not be exempted though, from the woes where the heavens of men will be brass and their earth iron. Sacrifice. Don't listen to these junk that people have, have been warning you about people who don't fear God and don't know anything about God. To be carnally minded, the Bible says, is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Can our people come and discuss all kinds of things? You don't serve God with your resources, you will serve sickness. You will serve trouble. You will serve divorce. You will serve pain. You can serve your way and vow your way. I think I've shared that testimony here. How that there was a particular uh, man of God. It, it was years ago he gave this testimony, a very true one him and his wife god is my witness they were in a meeting and i think they needed to roof a church or something like that and whilst they were there the man of god preaching was challenging people to sow into the work of god you know genuinely not out of eye service and manipulation genuinely and the lord just spoke to the man clearly that he should give up his house his real house real estate his property to give up his house and moved to a rented house can you imagine that costly instruction he didn't know how to tell his wife so according to him he said as soon as he held his wife's hand she started crying because the lord had told her the same thing too brothers may you marry a wife like that oh that will allow you obey god you marry a bad wife you will not be exempted may you marry a wife if all you are looking for is figure eight and you don't open up your spirit to pick signals that God can say this is what we are doing and your wife will say I may not understand but I trust you I trust the word of God 
upon your life. Say amen. amen. And be serious about what you just had. Go around and choosing nonsense and destroy your life because to be carnally minded is what? Death. You won't know now. By the time the euphoria of young life is gone, you will start seeing what it means to live with a man or a woman who does not fear God. God says, go left. He says, no, we are going right. God says, go right and you perish like Jonah. Hallelujah. I believe I have had a chance to repent had he not married Jezebel. Because he looked like a calm king. She looked like a wicked demon that would not allow him. He looked like a calm person. But her presence there. So he held his wife's hand and they agreed the will of God be done. How many of you know that if God gives you and your wife that kind of instruction, relatives will kill you? Even Christians. They'll say, which church first are you going to give the house? That man that is already rich. You, you people will never stop becoming fools in Nigeria. Because to them, giving is helping. Then they will now tell you, we have the poor and the needy in the villages. You don't give a poor man to be rich. You give a rich man to be rich. Learn this principle. You bless poor men to secure the help of God. He says to answer you in the days of trouble. But when you want to rise the law of honor, you sow to a man that has attained the dimension you desire. Don't give poor people expecting to be rich. All that superstitious thing that they say, meet a leper and drop one naira is witchcraft. You drop it, you will be broke, I tell you. You sow into an anointing to rise. I didn't sow to people less than me to be where I am. You sow higher. The queen of Sheba knew. That's why she carried gifts and came to Solomon. Do you bless a rich man? That's why you are sowing into the anointing. The very anointing that God has. So you rise up to his realm. People do foolish things in the body of Christ with no spiritual intelligence. And then we are doing zealous things. But they don't bring results. To us giving is helping so many people say the poor and the needy jesus said the poor you will always have with you you will always have don't be a hypocrite you will always have with you the person who is writing that junk journalism he didn't sell his ipad to give the poor he used an ipad of two hundred thousand to write nonsense about men of god you see that be careful how you hear don't let people make the truth the simplicity of the gospel become just a social discussion a spiritual man is not just a homo sapien a spiritual man hails from above with another life and another economy you have to understand this they obeyed god and they gave up the house according to him all hell broke loose everywhere went haywire you know people who insult the woman you mean you cannot advise your husband what a stupid woman the man look at your wife and children and when they went to a rented apartment gave up that i think they sold it and moved the church oh I, I hope i'm getting the story right and then i think he said that god made a vow to him that he will never need to buy a house again in his life never and that man at the time he was speaking i think he was saying he had well over 10 houses none 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 came from his money one not part and then you complete it somebody builds a house furnishes it and say god instructed me now you see people operating at such a realm you don't know what they gave up you give up things to go up oh. you give up things to go up you don't carry luggages to go up spiritually financially leadership you when you see people rising find out what they left behind nobody rises with luggages you must be willing to give up some things to rise in the anointing you must give up some things to rise in ministry you give up some things to rise serving god with your resources there are instructions today i don't like talking about my personal life and the instructions that god has given me but those close to me know my life is like a madman i am a reckless giver if you are close to me and we are sharing accounts you will take me to court because the lawyer will even be tired because you will not know what to say again i don't know how many times i have emptied my accounts at the instruction of the lord to zero zero 
I'm not talking there is one secret one somewhere. Sincerely, God is my witness. As a ministry, we have done it. There was a year God gave an instruction at the start of the ministry to empty everything. I told the finance department, oh yeah, God said it, let it go. It was less than one week. How many days? Less than one week. Almost 10 times that amount came back. Do you believe this? Into the kingdom. Lord, this is for your glory. There are times, and I say this with all humility, the finance department will send budget of another department and I tell them, don't bother. What a joy. It's not because this is, this is not my ministry. This is God's ministry. Right? I only lead this ministry by the privilege of his election. But it is God's ministry. But what a joy. I tell them, don't worry. Don't worry. Sometimes I see the concern in the treasurer's face and I'm happy. I will never pity myself as to remain at my current level. No. What are you willing to give up to go up? God is speaking to somebody. What are you willing to give up to exempt you? Let me tell you. There are people's seeds I know. It's a covenant with God. Darkness will come and loom around them. They will come out like smoke before the fire. Nothing will happen because the investments they have made for the kingdom is like, it says, it's, it's like the blood of Abel crying. There is blood through their sacrifice that is crying to the heavens. You try to walk against me, you are, you are a joker. I tell you, I say this with all humility. You are a joker. It's not even me that will fight. It's the altar that is full of seeds. When you hear people cry and say, my altar, that thing is not some superstitious thing. An altar is a place of sacrifice. It's a threshing floor. Bishop Oyedeko, I think it was him or somewhere in living faith. A story was being given about, I think it was a woman who was a tither or a giver in the house of God. And armed robbers came. They were knocking i think they were about to shoot the man or the woman something like that and i think is it the giving booklet or the tight booklet the person brought and dropped it on the ground and said the armed robbers should cross it and come and kill them and they could not do anything when you engage them they walk when you imagine them they don't walk when you sit down and wish that they walk they don't walk they must be engaged there are things i have prayed for once that came into my life with speed there have been times in my life where i cried that god defend me and i prayed once over it because god said no problem you've got this covered your seeds do you have a sacrifice like hezekiah in this time of exemption lord i want a job lord everybody in my family is not making it except me thank god i'm a christian have you forgotten that your elder one is a pastor and still his wife has not given birth he's he's winning souls and his wife has not given birth sacrifice sacrifice hannah gave her home before the child came and said god look this is not about me oh. this is about you before the child arrives i've dedicated him and god says that's it i give it to you i know people here who have sacrificed please come Ejimi. let me tell you something about Ejimi. when we were preparing for a crusade the first time among all of us sorry i'm having to say this i know he may not like it he was the only one among us that time that had a computer a desktop right then he used to make shirts the poster of the first crusade he designed it by himself with joy as a sacrifice and then i remember when we that time we needed a lot of money and you know we're trusting god you know people were sowing but it was a need and he did two things now i'm not saying you should do it but he did two things that i will never never forget number one he carried his laptop his his computer i was just passing suleiman and i saw notice and i saw the description of the laptop and i met him i said why with jesus joy I said no that laptop must go we need the money i've told you about our ladies who would climb trees they were members of the worship team they were members of welfare they were members of everything the ladies because there was no money to buy firewood then with joy they would sing we still have the videos 
that time people like victor and aaron aaron was then please stand up aaron aaron was in charge of protocol this aaron you see victor that you see the head of protocol he was in technical then that time they would carry wood on their head and then dance hey -oh. that was the song they used to sing hey -oh. dancing hey -oh. my season has come i remember hold on 11 years ago 11 years ago pouring their heart to the kingdom are we together see brothers and sisters i remember his mother dear mother of blessed memory one silver watch the most expensive watch then i had ever used remember when his mom went to london and bought it and said they should give me the day god asked me to sew that thing i wanted to die but i still gave it hi god but i gave it i mean it went i'm glad it went I'm glad it went it would have been the only one i still have till now the mother alongside other women in lagos mobilized welfare packages remember and they brought all of that i remember that time aaron we went with two luxurious buses when we were going to for the for the crusade in abuja how they mobilized it i do not even know we're praying and planning bless you and thank you jimmy so don't be surprised when his children are intelligent and happy he served his way to that his children will never beg for bread not when i'm alive even if he decides to be careless with his life it's too late not when i'm alive if he decides today that i will never do anything kingdom again together with his wife i say i i, I agree to, for you to be an extra luggage in my life let's keep going When we are talking about koinonia 10 years from now will your name be mentioned no 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 don't say don't do this not an issue of amen i'm asking you a serious question will you say will you say listen listen will you say this speaker came because my seed was there oh i remember the tie that this gentleman used right people giving their hearts and their lives graduate standing as if they are foolish you think these guys are idiots for just standing like this working some of them have come from their various workplaces and it's evening there are people who come in every week from other states it's a sacrifice see let me tell you the, the moment you find yourself complaining about the house of god know that that spirit is there to destroy you because everything God designs in the kingdom is for your good, not for his good. He's already self-sufficient. Don't forget El Shaddai. He said, if you will not praise me, it is within my power to raise up stones. God, don't replace me. I'm still available and I'm willing. There is such a thing like replacement. Because now I neither hot or cold, I will spew thee from my mouth. For as long as I live, I will not only praise God, my resources must join me and praise God. What use do I have? Having cars when the house of the Lord is not advanced? Real estate, real nonsense. The real estate is a kingdom estate. Traveling on vacation, spending a million dollars over a week no except i've done something satisfactorily for the kingdom there is a minimum of amount of offering that i cannot give i will be wicked and unfair to god and to his faithfulness in my life if at this level he has brought me financially i give god certain levels of offering no there is an amount i trust god to get to a target of an amount that I give God never less than it if it is in your heart God will bring it in your hand if at this level I squeeze 1,000 I squeeze 2,000 give God as an offering I'm a wicked person how much do I eat with how
how much are my clothes and then the house of god two thousand three thousand me no there are some of you as you are sitting here god has lifted you what you're giving has remained so your giving drew you back because it said your giving told god you were not yet qualified and god said if your giving says remain i can't say you should rise remain i have given dangerous seeds in my life i have sown seeds on behalf of my parents for their longevity i have sown seeds on behalf of my children unborn i have sown seeds on behalf of this ministry ask those who know me this ministry is a giving ministry the economic system of koinonia is a crazy system that's why many times i thank god for the way church runs because if it's america i'm sure they would have sued us now say no 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 this and that and that you sow that seed and god gives you faithful people he may not give you money back but he will give you one person that will reduce headache there has not been any case in this ministry that has starved me of sleep to say somebody just came and is stubborn no parents you can use sacrifice to bail every nonsense out of your children when a woman gives birth a man buys a jeep for her which is wonderful right when a child takes first position they fly him to hawaii rather than doing that invest in his future first and say lord this is for my child I buy this speaker for the house of God not nonsense not change not carry torn clothes and say Lord I give it in your house you don't give God rubbish no you give God I will not give God anything that will not cost me anything. I look forward to times oh God sees my heart when if I hear any church make noise they want something before they say anything is provided and God will open doors for you beyond your imagination. If your if your purpose of financial prosperity is just to wear designers and fly private jets, is too small a reason for God to rend the heavens and give you a blessing that you will not have room enough. Lord, if you're healing someone in this city don't do it without me that's my prayer lord don't do it without me oh lord if you're changing someone in this nation please don't do it without me don't do it without me oh may may may, may it never come to a point in my life when my seed stops advancing the kingdom please tell me what else will i be doing with it servicing sickness servicing poverty as i'm speaking to you you see your greed rising you are trying to believe what i'm saying but your greed is fighting you i wish you would push this thing away no sir god wants to help you i show you the mysteries of blessings that people just rise up god has said it's the year of trial because you are still going to see people rise up in strange ways you will see it's already happening to people you are hearing testimonies of people and you're saying what exactly are they doing that they are rising because in the world system you have they have to show you the boss and the salary slip but this one does the, the boss is invisible the business is by faith but the reward is the only thing you see don't do it without me don't do it without me sacrifice of your life your resources sometimes when i'm going for ministrations i'm so tired sleeping in the car or sleeping in the plane and i'm asking myself why why am i doing this do i have to do this and i just remember it's a privilege i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping you lord take my body my soul
my money and breathe on me he has to take everything take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me listen if you give god your spirit you give god your brain and leave your pocket you are carnal and a liar because where your treasure is that's where your heart is are we together my life my finances and every part of me is open for his scrutiny his probing and his instructions any day any time without prior notice belongs to him we are going to pray you want to be exempted there is a price i know many of you just believe i will just tell you be exempted in jesus name brothers and sisters there is a price i won't lie to you i fear god too much to deceive you what is the disadvantage of not being exempted write it down the disadvantage of not being exempted was in the scripture we considered with Cain. He said, all who see me will slay me. He didn't say all men, all things that see me will slay me. The disadvantage, the major disadvantage of not being exempted is that you become a victim of anything and everything. Write it down. You become a victim of anything and everything. Although redeemed, although potentially speaking, you should not be a victim of those things. But you become a victim of anything and everything without hope for recovery. The Bible says, these people have been alienated from the life of God through ignorance. It says having their understanding darkened. They have been alienated from the life of God. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Listen. It's a risk to give birth to a child and not know whether that child will live long or not. It's too risk. If you've lost a child I, I my heart goes out to you don't feel bad but I'm telling you there is a way out please listen to me it's a risk not knowing that you come out today and go back remember there are those who have done it we are not the first to do it remember our song we are surrounded by many they have crossed this river there are men who have lived that long I looked at my father and my mother one time that I went to greet them and I was just smiling. Do you know one thing I know will keep my parents long? Thanksgiving. If there is anything I've learned about my father, my father is a man who can thank God in a way that will annoy you. He would thank you. know how old people thank God? They thank God for things you consider to be silly. We young people say, please, if it's the air you breathe, we thank God until the day you breathe through a tube for one month you stay and breathe in and out you will say thank you i've had the opportunity to go to hospitals and to see people i remember the most recent i think it was sometime last year went to see one, went to see one of our ladies and i went there close to her bed i watched somebody die i watched it the process At that point, all your greed follows you to the grave. All your seeds that have refused to be given, like the rich fool, the consequences of not using your resources. He said, this day, he sat down and built a barn and put the money and said, my soul, you have money in GT Bank. You have money in Zenith. You have real estate. You are a millionaire. Fine rest. And God says, thou fool, your soul today, today will be required of you money does not follow men to the grave hmm. are you hearing what i'm telling you pay attention and leave can you know that your life will be great oh i'm standing today now one shoe one bag one room one stove one pot 
but I'm sowing my way. Is there a guarantee that tomorrow this loss will work for me? And then I will be the one to be able to turn back and be a blessing. Ask me. I have the answer. That's how we rose. That's why when people are bragging and saying we are this, we are the intellectuals, Harvard this, we went to this, some of us know how we came. We served our way through the mercy of God. And look what God has done today. Do you know why it is marvelous in our eyes? Because it is the Lord's doing. If it's a man's doing, it's too small to be marvelous in your eyes. You are marvelous here. You are marvelous here. You are marvelous here. Marvelous here. That's what men will begin to say about your life. That you are marvelous here. Never allow any man despise you. You may not have it now, but you are walking your way. Sister, you don't need to prove to anybody you can buy nothing. The word of God will prove itself. Continue. You may not have what it takes. Wear your one shoe honorably. Don't borrow anybody's shoe and tie to prove any point. There's too much truckload of proofs coming in the future. I know you are a man of God. You have only one tie. Iron it with honor and sow. Sow into the kingdom. Don't buy suits. You are not wise if you do that. No. I want to package myself so that I will look like a apostle. You are cheating yourself. You won't look like me soon. Let me just tell you the truth. You will, between me and you is a ladder of obedience. You will have to climb it diligently and by the grace of God. My job is to shorten your journey, not take it away. That journey is there. You will walk it. That's why I don't pity people when they cry. Sometimes it's good to let the tears roll. I love you, but I cannot stop your journey. I can only reduce it. So sometimes people cry and say apostle nothing is working and they think i will clean the tears i say no let it flow because to, if it does not flow you will not clean somebody's own it's not wickedness there are times i've seen people in situations i want to bless them and the lord said no don't interrupt what i'm doing in their life they are, I'm, I'm showing them something and i'm saying lord but they know i can help them say no no i'm teaching them trust just like it's happening to someone right now every door of your helpers have closed god is saying it's deliberate oh. don't even try to pray for open doors because i'm the one closing it to teach you i'm teaching you how to rejoice in the storm i'll praise you in the storm remember i will lift my hands you are who you are no matter where i am every tear that falls you hold in your hands listen let me tell you something i'm preaching a message to you now koinonia don't be ashamed of your tears let it flow let everyone see you cry so that when you rejoice they won't say you cheated you followed the laws you cried mommy you may cry but cry in faith cry honorably as you sow the seed there is he that weepeth bearing precious seeds i remember the day the lord asked me to sow 80 percent of my clothes everything 80 percent 80 percent of everything before then he had asked me to give everything i've shared with you the testimony 2007 in port Harcourt, i carried everything i had home and abroad plus the rechargeable lantern that was all i had laid my hands and prayed on it for three hours dragged it to church then God decided to disgrace me. I was in the overflow outside. When people were giving, God said I should sit down. When people were now giving cars and lands, when they finished, God said you can now go. I was moving. Ladies were looking at me. Guys were looking at me. But I was looking at my future. Oh yes I was. Oh yes I was. And I went and dropped that thing. The bag was not, I don't even know what they did with it. When they dropped that bag, I went back and sat down. I did it for his house. And the Lord spoke to me and said, My son, from today, 
you have entered wealth men walk by mysteries my mother is one of the happiest people around it's not just because we're alive it's because of the quality of the children she has we're discussing with HB today I bless my parents till the day Jesus comes till the day Jesus comes without fail whether they obey scriptures or not I am obedience to them the same way the priest they, they receive tithe on behalf of the Levites have received it for them may you do that for your parents so may your obedience today make your parents live long so that you will take away this stress that is killing parents young now you see a parent 70 years they can't walk because the son at 40 is still coming mommy please can you borrow me hundred thousand how much is my pension he said just give me are you determined to be exempted we are going to pray sister take my message seriously barrenness is still real barrenness does not just come on bad ladies who live wayward lives there are sincere people you can start exempting yourself now don't wait until the day you get married and try and try and try and nothing happens gentleman don't wait until the day a landlord harasses you you say i'll start giving start now don't wait and say apostle but I've, I've not, i'm not even in a relationship that's the good time to start sowing that seed your seeds can go ahead of your future lord i carry this sacrifice it's for you it's for you ask a jimmy he's a witness what did i do with all my scholarships not once did i i was on two scholarships i was on mobile i was on total final elf then they used to call it then there was no GT bank in Zaria. We we'll go to Kaduna and cash it. Ask him. He's a witness. Everything went for the kingdom. Other people were buying laptop. They were buying this. I used my scholarship for the kingdom. Behind every story, every glory, there is a story. Don't just sit down desiring men's results. This is what, this covetousness in the body of Christ. Oh God, I like a Jimmy's watch. I like this. I like Pastor Alpha's shoe. Stop those things. That that's not how to claim. You claim through obedience. Obedience. We are really going to pray seriously because I want you to be exempted. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. The danger that looms around. There is real danger. Psalm 91 tells us. There is danger on your children. Born or unborn. From the womb now children get mysteriously sick. Father does not have that sickness. Mother does not have that sickness. From that period of conception to delivery. The child comes out with one kind of nonsense. I remember one of our ladies who gave birth to one baby. He later died you know i remember them meeting me they gave it to the baby the baby was an imbecile you know nothing neck will not move hand will not move nothing and i remember the pain the mother used to go through i went back to god and i said lord what happened what happened and then i told them i said look sacrifice is the last bus stop in this kingdom when all else fail you sacrifice is a master key it will tear that heaven open I show you a mystery. There are times I've come to certain places that I know some doors will not open. I prayed, they didn't open. I fasted, they didn't open. And I reached out through intelligence. I took seeds that shook heaven and I swung those doors open. And Solomon loved the Lord. And Solomon said, gather me 1,000 animals. They said, sir, are you dashing people? He said, don't ask me any question bring knife slaughter them number one number two he says spill the blood there was a field god kept watching he said let's watch how far he will go when he got to 500 he didn't stop god said my god what is this who is this man who gave him this kind of heart to sacrifice immediately god came to him and said solomon you called me sacrifice has a voice it can call god I'm telling you a mystery some of you are in situations right now your education cannot bring you out it will not bring you out 
you are in a situation where you are about to break through something the pastor in your family with all his anointing did not was not exempted from that trouble bad luck people rise to certain levels the moment they reach there they crash you are number seven out of 13 people nobody's walking and you say i got first class you better switch there is a mystery of exemption everybody that married in your family the lifespan of the marriage was four years they prayed in tongues the marriage is scattered because there is a spirit covenanted authoritatively it takes sacrifice i have done this for myself i have done this for koinonia hi brothers and sisters you are sitting on blood you are not just sitting on chairs you are sitting on tears you are sitting on sacrifices that brought you that's what brought you here it's not joshua selman's revelation sacrifice many people cannot do this thing it's hard that's why very few are exempted i never told you it will be easy i won't lie to you there is he that weepeth there are things this man has done there are sacrifices i remember one time i'm sorry i'm having to say it. he carried a seed together with his wife and i knew this was a serious seed there are people here who have done it sacrifices unto death a kind of sacrifice that when you finish you say god i hope this thing is right i hope it works i told you about my mother my mother almost brought tears out of my eyes i think it was towards the end of last year she said her death will my mother said if she dies any benefit that will come they should transfer it to koinonia a woman alive covenanting her will for god where is the devil that will kill her that's the realm when you say for for me to live is christ and to die is king listen we rise in this kingdom through sacrifice we exempt ourselves through sacrifice strange sacrifice i have watched it open doors for me i have watched it open doors for people great men that you see in this nation the secret is not just the sacrifice of prayer their seeds have gone if i tell you i don't practice this i you, I, you it, those close to me know i am a bank of walking seats nothing just stays idle i send it to my future i send it fast i may cry sending it hallelujah i was talking to a jimmy and i was telling him i said i have so much in the charge card in my phone i don't know what to do he asked me how much i said forty-one thousand what will i do with a recharge card my phone loaded with forty-one thousand. One naira is not from me one naira is not from me what will i do with it you are not ready for blessings till your seed speaks oh you mean you are enjoying no no when blood touches the earth heaven must answer Who said your family will never be rich? There is this cause of poverty. And you have been giving, you just give 10,000, 10, give 10 naira. You are not ready to move. Oh, let me tell you the truth. There is a day you come and say, Lord, my children, I served idols. My father served idols. It was in idolatry I gave my life to Christ. I've not even stabilized my stand. I know these altars are fighting me therefore i lift up a fortification gather unto me my saints psalm 50 verse 5 please give it to us they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice a covenant with me by sacrifice listen you are at a phase in your life where you should not pity money listen listen to me wasteful spending is bad but fearful spending is demonic you don't spend your money buying shoes spend your money breaking altars spend your money breaking covenant leave all those shoes don't be foolish they will come prove any point to anybody 
lord i have watched my elder brother rubbish i watched my elder sister she got married and got mad this first day this will not happen oh i know it will not happen because i'm in koinonia if you don't do what koinonia people are doing you'll be surprised i'm showing you the secrets brothers and sisters let me tell you they will sit with you like this and tell you they are coming to jail you coming to take you to prison coming to take you to this you cannot pay your rent your sacrifice that's when you see that sacrifice is powerful there is a lady i don't know if she testified i have the text message in my phone i shared it with you Jimmy. two days ago her mother practically died and the girl said no 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 way and she caught i think she may be a worker or so she sent a text i told her to come and share it by herself i don't know if she was a worker or whatever and do you know this lady said she said kai i can't use my faith again everything went bad and she sent me a text you know what she sent she said apostle i can't use faith i use the covenant you have with god do you know what i did I put the text I told you Jimmy what I did I put the text and I threw it on my bed I said Lord look at what this lady say her mother came back to life yesterday yesterday the text is still in my phone take over take over Lord I've come to the end Hallelujah, I have come to the end of the end of greed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of my Listen, listen, till today they serve idols in my village. Till today they serve idols in my village. With the reign of Christianity, you are not the first to have causes. I told you demons used to oppress me as a man of god anointed healing the sick i went to pastors i said what is this thing that demons come to press me in the night they said i don't have faith i said what is faith i've done everything they define faith to be brothers and sisters there are certain altars that after you have prayed i wish what i'm telling you is a lie i know you are in christ but i show you the mysteries behind the pain of men there are some seeds alone that will break some altars and smash it to pieces and in one year one year when it was time to save man jesus christ god did not make a pronouncement he dragged his son when the son went to god got her when his blood dripped that's why no power the only power that can overcome god is the power that can give a son with that same condition any other deity that can turn a god to become a son and sacrifice him will have more power than god he looked around the heavens and found no one greater and he swore by himself the seed shall bruise the head the seed ah. Please look at me. Look at me. If I have preached and I have told you a lie, may a curse come upon me and my children that are unborn. If I have manipulated you for any gain, listen, I don't care who you are, how old you are, what you read. If you want to rise above witchcraft in this life, you want to rise and match the head of the devil it's not just your prayer and your voice there is he that weepeth you don't just drop money like that the sacrifice is not in the money is the value on you and tie it with an expectation lord they say my womb will not open you have seen three of your sisters barring you are there jumping up and down and saying i am they are, they are not barring because they are devils they just do not understand the mystery of exemption koinonia is sitting upon this mystery 
that's why you see us rising by his grace those who don't understand will just think oh these people are just lucky there's no luck in this thing oh. there's no luck in this thing you engage it there is a mystery there is a mystery that exempts men from all of these vicissitudes of life please i want you to believe it in the name of the lord god of heaven and open up yourself because we are going to do some serious prayers this night is not a night to just joke around we came to pray within the few minutes we have to pray i like you to pray remember we are exempting ourselves rise up on your feet and in the next five minutes i want you to blast in tongues as though one who is ready for exemption lord it can't continue like this lord my family cannot continue like this Pray, pray. Pray. The Lord will honor you. You are in the presence of the mighty one. You are accessing secrets that will exempt you. Hallelujah. A businessman can be led into destruction led into temptation a precious anointed lady with a great destiny can be led into temptation lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil listen one of the most treasured gifts that you must covet in your life is the ability to hear god clearly the times we live in now guess what will punish you again and again he said the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want here's how i quote it if the lord is my shepherd then i shall not want when you are many of us hear demons clearly you hear spirits clearly you hear voices nonsense voices clearly you don't need to pray to hear them but do you know that many of us now even our dreams have been hijacked and manipulated you don't even know whether it's god speaking now or not they come as an appearance of light but the message is not consistent with the integrity of god so you don't even know what to believe again dreams are prophetic avenues for the speakings of god to reach the saints but they can be hijacked and manipulated by the powers that be a lady can be manipulated to reject her husband a gentleman can be manipulated to reject his wife a person can be manipulated to reject his voice he is job there are many people they got jobs a spirit told them leave they thought it was god and they left it i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision be sensitive something will happen here now and i'm seeing people in the realm of the spirit but i'm not seeing ears imagine like a man no ears this is what i'm seeing now i understand by this vision what the bible says he that hath an ear physically we are supposed to have ears but right now in the name of jesus this is not for everybody hold on i'm praying right now there is a grace that will open the hearing of people i stretch my hands lord where are they the men and women that need to hear you in this season for ministry to move forward 
I stretch my hands representing the hands of God and I command the hearing ears be open now Papa Luka Tosiata please help them be open now be open now for business be open now for ministry be open now for your career be open now hallelujah and Isaac sowed in that land he sowed in a specific there is a geography to increase it doesn't just happen everywhere there are people today if the devil wants to destroy them he will give them visa to UK they will think his breakthrough not every open door is anointed there are times the devil destroys you by opening doors it's not always closed doors there are open doors that, that are open doors towards doom he said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death mm. thou shalt show me the path of life he said for it is in your light that we see light we're going to cry for divine direction many destinies are tied down now because of divine direction or lack of it lord what is the next phase of my life you can't remain like this and just sit down what is the next season what is your blueprint lift your voice and pray show me oh god i buy into the mind of the spirit what is your communication for my ministry for my life in this season i don't want to be found where you were i want to be found where you are pray he that have an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying not what he said what he's saying what he's saying what he's saying he said the spirit speaketh expressly not the spirit spoke the spirit speaketh expressly direction okay. listen listen let me talk to us a little especially i know that a generation of young people were very proud we just believe that just because we went to school we can determine the course of our lives with intelligence now destiny is not just academics and education you must cry part time per second for revelation this ministry by the grace of god we are where we are because not just because of the ability to hear god but the ability to stay until he says move tiredness can tell you to move weariness can tell you to move he said if your presence goeth not with us don't send us from here oh god we are not going do you know it is costly to go without god it's cheaper the pain of your waiting is cheaper than the pain of knowing that you are where god is not there are men of god that started well but people encourage you and say this is how they do it in ministry when you get to this level this is the next step and you foolishly took a step a step that ate away your destiny and your progress and your blessing hallelujah it matters that we understand times and seasons and that we can wait until God says move I remember after our second crusade in this ministry the next year we we're discussing and they say where are we going I went to the Lord and the Lord said you are not going anywhere and I said okay we're not going anywhere ah, but I thought we do it every year <clears throat> be careful the ritual of religion can destroy you God used to do this way it doesn't mean he has to do it the same way the most important thing is let it be him doing it treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful redeemer of my past and present wrong 
You're the holder of my future days to come Nothing in this world is as Jesus, you're the calm that will run dry We live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed God is a God of speed I don't know why I'm preaching this now this is part of the miracle service God is the God of speed but God is not the God of rush there is a difference between speed and rush many of us the Spirit of God is speaking to someone here you need to calm down the way you are running with your life you are going to land in trouble the way you are running with ministry you will land in trouble the way you are approaching marriage the way you are approaching destiny you will land in trouble culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch my soul wait thou upon the lord god is a god of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of God and more can be achieved in one month with God than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with God he said for with God all things without God outside of God there are things that are not possible apostle my life I don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side I must make sure that I build a house now I must and God is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be Lord of your life I say Lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful Satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on Friday we are rounding up the deliverance series are we together God is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why well, say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if God does not lead me I'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people will say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord builds a house listen very carefully it says they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. Now, there are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. 
god is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are you are hurrying up too much you think it's breakthrough you are running you will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle for someone after this service you need to go and calm down with your life and say i've been running since 2005 what have i done with my life absolutely nothing oh come lord jesus come and direct me give me direction are we together the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong not even bread for them that are wise when a man subscribe to the direction of god your life may look controversial for a while but all that will be before you is beauty and glory then your life will become beulah and hepzibah the delight of the nations the excellency of waiting the hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait it's easy to rush it's easy to do a lot of things you will make more mistakes in your life rushing there is power in waiting are we together there is power in waiting we're going to pray for the sick now there's a lot to do tonight but listen very carefully if this message is for you then i want you to receive it from the depth of your heart you know when we come like this there are various things that the lord is doing to several people not everyone is sick not everyone is oppressed but a word can come and god says be careful there are people about to relocate now to regions they have not sought god they just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggled their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern appreciate and reward value that's all they have a greater propensity to discern to appreciate and to reward value you can be where you are if you are truly directed by god and he will come to you and bless you are we together now how many of you are trusting the lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer i want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we're all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you're here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesize to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it they 
Your husband got another wife. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? trying to embarrass this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders. Brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again. Brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her, help her. Social help her. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. It's just so long. You, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore in the name of Jesus I declare to you. Not only will you or your brother be healed. I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can you do what can you do
looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I'm not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God. I'm not the only one. 
everyone say after me in the name of jesus please shout it say in the name of jesus i prophesy over the next half of this year hear the word of the lord become for me seasons of signs and wonders lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray everyone make sure you are praying make sure you are praying of signs and wonders seasons of signs and wonders hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus please let's be serious say in the name of jesus every dimension of grace every dimension of the anointing required for my next level of exploits i receive it tonight in jesus name open your mouth and please pray was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen that's the next prayer point we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be returned one more time in everything that was lost Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare. Thank you. 
name of Jesus Christ. Say it again in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over my loved ones. Hear the word of the Lord. This is your season of rising. Lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones. Please believe what you are saying. Prophesy. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. This is your season of rising. A new level, a new dimension in the spirit. says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory Jesus I decree and declare that my help comes from above I decree and declare that my help comes from the Lord and in this season I prophesy to my destiny a believer receive the help of God lift your voice and pray come for help
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Was he praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Carmel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue with a single signature? A man's life can change but i told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default i'd like you to cry father in this season i'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny help us please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray name of Jesus was you praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all god can step in and you have value you are packaged your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at the church? my god arise for me as a helper Shaka Barakatosh, Shaka Taka 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 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen, you are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> in Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, Receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help. Spiritual help. Career help. Help, oh God. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. And he took me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me to a valley. And the Bible says that valley was full of bones. And it says the bones were very dry. Bones don't dry up in one day. It means they have been there for a long time. We want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go. You were born and you met that problem. You have become an adult. You have met that. No, no, no. It must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the lord i decree and declare let life come to you now lift your voice and pray prophesy life your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job hear the word of the lord 
Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. All ministry, hear the word of the Lord. All business, hear the word of the Lord. All destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds. And say, O wind, breathe upon this slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, we know that birth is nine months. But something can happen to the rod of Aaron and it can burn overnight with no root. I like you to say, Lord, let the supernatural work in my life in this season. Business at a supernatural rate. Ministry at a supernatural rate. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. As soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desired to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desired to come to you. Have you seen a situation, Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we are not here to waste time Brothers and sisters, this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom. Are we together? It says, do not be ignorant of the devices, the methodologies from the word stratomai, the methodology of Satan. There are methods. It said, do not let your good be evil spoken of. Have you seen that that's a method? That I call you and Satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm. I just called you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just they don't, please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs 
but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is God are we together I remember a few years ago I went to a house to pray for them I was invited and I got to the house I usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and I went to the house and uh, um, I just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat now i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of God, God began to speak to him. At the end of it, it was him that escorted me out. He said, ah, ah, you are, you are, you know, my friend, they collected my, I said, look at this man would have missed this miracle. Brothers and sisters, some of our loved ones, you know what I'm saying, are like that. Their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years. They organized a program near your house. And they say, no, 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 no. Once it is not you, it is not God. It's an error. what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened there anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry yes no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the sun arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the sun arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen, a helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. 
some men came to david in a cave called adulam and they vowed that we must make you king you are seeing a man who is already weak no result ah when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved god changes the rules i see this unfair to you Haba. there is such a dimension the helper of israel when you labor and labor and labor and labor you'll be lying to say you are giving god glory there are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality the way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when god places a demand greed has an explanation when you when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship you can't give but if it's freely you received if freely you will give are we together your destiny is one helper away by the privilege of god's grace i've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people and overnight they got jobs without interview just because i happen to know someone in a position of influence and i say sir please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken is the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of god there are pastors that need the help of god you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by god to help you will stand in the rain and say i'm sent and i'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help please hear what i'm telling you do you know if you do things alone and by yourself you are not blessed even if you succeed in doing it help help that god arises for a man and say young men establish within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month i will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it challenged him and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of god or not i told him i said no that that is a foolish that is a foolish concern are you seeing you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list you are now seeking whether it's the will of god going behind what is there to ask whether it's the will of god or not listen i know that it looks like it's just a joke but it's a serious issue how many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help no help ask the medical doctors they will tell you you buy a car alone you look for food alone you walk alone you seek counsel by yourself you advise yourself no helper you see people moving like cane all around nobody to help nobody to advise you their pastor pastor bolaji do you know sometimes pastor bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but god chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw is because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the heart to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor keep praying i just want to say thank you so many my life be glorified. Be glorified. It's in my life. Be glorified. Be glorified. Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and Lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before god be turned now into supernatural testimonies may god turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of jesus christ just give me two three minutes and we're done. I want to speak over your life now. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hands, everything, everything When you hold my hands, before the wind in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man of God represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of Jesus Christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life I send the word of God like a messenger to reproduce the garden of Eden over your issue in the name of Jesus Christ when a man's ways pleases the Lord he make it even his enemy to be at peace with him I declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise I command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing 
God up with the grace that makes men succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord visited Sarah. And she called the name of her son Isaac. He said, all those who hear about this will laugh with me. I introduce you to a new season of laughter. 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 Turn again our captivities like the streams of the naked. I pray for you. It will be like a dream of the night. The way God will turn your life around. Anyone here under the plague of death, any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy. I decree, O oh death, where is thy sting? And O oh grave, where is thy victory? I command death to pass from over you in the name of Jesus. He said, Let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my god open your eyes to see it and the bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and Isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed I decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of Jesus Christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the lord has made a, declared, a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore i decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders i say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus, wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Paradventure, you are here in this place tonight. Everyone, please listen. Please, no moving around. Let's honor the name of the Lord. You are here. You have seen what the Lord has done. You've heard me teach. And the Holy Spirit began to convict you, to tell you, that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously I want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle I've heard about God I've been around the things of God I've been around church I have a Christian name my father may even be a man of God my mother is an intercessor but I I declare my need for God tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle I have given my life to Christ but at one point or the other I just found my life going haywire and I'm saying I need Jesus if you belong to any of these categories I like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go 
in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia are you appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concert just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them <laughs> hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.